Hey everyone, Sean. Welcome back to the channel. We have here a customer repair. A little bag that says a broken piece. It looks like a micro USB port that broke off of a vanity mirror. As a matter of fact, if I was to look underneath, the customer gave us a little note that says, Great mirror, but doesn't charge. Now, I when I was talking to the customer, uh, via email uh, she seemed to be very specific about this mirror and wanted it repaired and was okay with the price that I quoted her for repair um, but uh, that being said what do we have here we have a VR-1 Fiat electric LED lighted mirror so 5 volt DC 2 amp input and then uh, We'll see how much brightness this actually puts out. Okay, cool. So this is the base. That's going to have to go back on. I can see where uh, this was pulled back and screws were removed. Um, it looks like she has the screws there in the bottom. So we'll get this all put back together once we get it repaired. Um, Put that little note right there. So essentially, we're using uh, an 18650 battery, okay? Uh, which these can come out, and you can just charge them by themselves. Is this an 18650? Yeah, it's an 18650. Uh, I've, I've got a charger for one of these just just right over there. So yeah, most likely this is. Excuse me, not gonna be an issue with the battery. Just that little charge port. Let me put in my own, and yeah, we can see. Apologies, bright light. That it works just fine. So what I'm gonna do instead of charging that battery separately, so I'm gonna take this PCB out. It's gonna require desoldering it from these leads right here, and then removing it from the board. Uh, might have to desolder the on off switch. These tabs right here, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, I can just lift it from the board. We'll find out. Anyways, I'm going to try to take this apart and then we'll deal with this micro USB that needs to be replaced. Everything removed, we can see uh, kind of what happened here. Um, this micro USB port. Uh, there we go. Was kind of sheared off from the board, it, it appears. Um, you see the leftover remainings of pads. So 
this pad lifted up from here. It's going to be a ground plane. It's no big deal. We got, uh, looks like this pad, this uh, leg just broke, so we'll clean this up. We need to clean up these spots too. Uh, I should have had legs on it going through the, the board, I assume. They've broken off. So the center two pads came up. That's actually. Can we straighten these out? And that one right there is broke off. Come on now. Oh, did I just break that one off? I guess I did. <laughs> oh, well. So we're looking at... You know, one, two, three, four, five pins. But the ones that are really important are these outer to I I assume the center one's not going anywhere um, I really don't think it is based off of what I'm seeing here the topology of this board so Think we're okay there I think the center three were just being used to kind of hold it down but we definitely need our plus right here and our minus we can see that we have a cap going between the two so we know this is our positive and return rail for the five volt supply so I'm gonna have to select a replacement for this uh, micro USB port and uh, we'll get this cleaned up and a new one soldered back in. So I'll work on that now. Got it back together. Uh, I was thinking this was hot glue for a minute, but it wasn't uh, starting to melt the heat. That's actually a 
silicone compound. Silicone compound. Um, but either way, uh, I just use uh, hot glue to put it back together. I am. We've got uh, you know a blinking orange LED right here. Um, you know, a little bit of glow for a second. I think it's just telling us that the uh, the battery is uh, depleted. But uh, let's tr let me try to. Um, I did have to modify that connector a little bit. I'm going to see if we get a different indication. Of this plugged in, and uh, yeah, it goes from blinking to to solid. So I think we're I think we're good. Light came on. Let's uh let's wait a little while. See if it fully charges up. Actually, I'll tell you what. That's my micro USB cable. I'm going to use the one that the owner of this uh, product sent in. So I'll use their cable instead. And uh, plug it in just to make sure that the one they sit in was good. I hate to not test it with what they sent in. But yeah, that's plugged in and, and look, we're solid light. And it turns on, so I'm gonna give it a bit and let it charge and uh, see when I unhook it if it will stay on. Well, I'm going to unplug this now, and uh, it's been charging it for about 30 or 40 minutes or so since I was ironing some clothes to get ready for work this coming week. And uh, let's see if it turns on and stays on. Yeah, appears, appears to do it. Oh, so when we tilt it, I guess we can turn the LED off and on or trigger it to go off. That's pretty cool. All right, so maybe it's on a timer or something as well. I don't know how that works, but yeah. Oh, it's the base. That's what it is. Cool. Ah, so that's what that key meant that I had to solder. So it's touch sensitive. Ah, I get it now. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. So it appears that it does uh, charge and it does turn on and uh, appears to work just fine. So uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section. Um, you know, it didn't take much to repair this, uh, you know, put a little extra solder on the connector, it's not going to go anywhere. We only needed the outer pins for our uh, positive and return uh, and uh, yeah it's, uh, it's it's working and charging perfectly good now uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new to this channel uh, check out my other videos and since you're here anyways you might as well subscribe so go ahead and hit that sub button no matter what though uh, appreciate you for watching take care and goodbye Mark?